What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Afsal Hussain. And today we're gonna to be talking about five things that I enjoyed about working in asset management specifically. For those of you that don't know what asset management is, check out this video here. You can find out all about it, but without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I really liked about asset management was the client interaction. So as many of you might know, when you're working in the front office of an investment bank, you are more likely to interact with clients because these are the areas of the investment bank that generate revenue. So for me, I was lucky, fortunate enough in my first year to do some experience at BlackRock, who are the largest asset manager in the world. And in that experience, I spent time with some of the investors, so the technical side of things, investing in the markets, and I spent some time with the global client distribution team so the salespeople they manage relationships they bring in money for the investors to go and invest so as a result of that I realized I'm not really too keen on being heads into the market I'm more keen on developing client relationships my strengths and characteristics were more focused on people skills interpersonal skills all of that stuff and so I thought you know what I want to work in a sales role in asset management the good thing is when you work in a sales role you get to go to client meetings early on and you get to do so earlier on than in sales and trading you get to do so earlier on in investment banking division who oftentimes wait for you to be an associate or a director or a vice president before you go to client meetings and so the benefit of asset management was even in my internship this is credit to my manager at the time she took me to meetings as a first year analyst I went to meetings you go you don't play a huge role in these meetings you're not you know leading the meeting but you're there you're learning you're learning by osmosis right you're learning by taking notes you're learning by hearing in on the conversation so I really liked the fact that I was able to go to meetings at such an early stage in my career and that was credit to you know being in the asset management management division. This isn't the case so much for private banking because when you're in private banking your clients are high net worth individuals so the private banker will go to the meetings rather than you because you don't really have that relationship with the client. You might go to meetings later on but with asset management from my personal experience and from speaking with my peers it's the area where you get client access sooner than most other divisions. So that's one. Of all the front office divisions, asset management has good work-life balance. If you're working in the investment banking division, you will be getting in at 9 a.m., leaving at like midnight, 1 a.m. every day for your first two years. In sales and trading, you need to get in at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. as a junior, and you leave 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m. In asset management, you can get in at 7, 8 a.m., and then you leave at around 7 p.m., 8 p.m., right? Obviously, workload varies between the times of the year, so at quarter end, it's busier, but of all the front office divisions, you know, asset management has a good work-life balance. Third thing I liked about asset management, so I was in asset management at Goldman Sachs and to be fair, the people, most of the people were really nice. You get a lot of, you know, the ratio between men and women was pretty split. There are probably more men, but there are a lot of females working in asset management and everyone was really nice for the most part. You get a lot of individuals who, you know, have families married, they have kids, they've got young children, and so work-life balance is a priority to them. A lot of the managing directors understand that and they respect that. And there's just a nice, uh, there was a nice balance of don't just sit at work. There's no point sitting in front of the screen for 24 hours. If you've got an appointment, go to it. The value is in you getting your work done. So if you are trustworthy with your to-do list, then you can get everything that needs to be done in a timely manner. People are okay with you going to the gym. People are okay with you leaving a bit early because you've done all your work and you're gonna come in earlier the next day or whatever. There are obviously one or two people who just watch you to see that you're at your desk 24 seven. Those are micromanagers, every organization has them. But for the most part, the people were nice to work with. Salary, obviously front office division, investment bank, salary is always good. Bonus, obviously is great as well. This depends on the performance of the division, the team, the region, the organization, so many factors. But yeah, salary, bonus, can't complain, it was all good. And then fifth and final reason that I liked asset management was simply because of the nature of the work. In asset management, you are taking money from clients, so pension funds, insurance companies, sovereign wealth funds, governments, large companies, right? They have all this money and you're taking it and you are investing it in the financial markets, telling them that in five, 10, 15, 20 years, that money will get a return. So in our case, it was taking on pension scheme money or pension fund capital and investing it. So who are the recipients of pension funds? Retire 
retirees, right? So when people retire, they need money to draw as a salary. As asset managers, you are investing that capital, hoping to create a return for these people when they retire. If performance is great, good. You're doing, you know, a service to these people. But if performance is bad, it's kind of peak because it means the retirees are impacted. Their pension pots are going to shrink. They're going to get smaller. The nature of the work was interesting because you get exposure, especially as someone in a distribution or sales team, you get exposure to the different asset classes. So you're not just siloed into fixed income or you're not just siloed into equities. You get that exposure and you get to choose what you're most interested in. So for me, I worked on fixed income, equities, alternatives, and I liked alternatives the most. And so I was able to dig deeper and focus more on alternatives. Alternatives are hedge funds, private equity, real estate, all the alternative asset classes. That's the nature of the work. Initially, it is a steep learning curve, but with most things, it flattens out and then you're given a new challenge and it gets steeper. But as with all things, it does flatten out at some point, but then it's up to you to go and find that next new challenge. If you're interested in working in asset management or in any other area of an investment bank, you can check out some of my Skillshare courses. I recently released one on cover letters, but I've done a course on CVs. I've done a course on the different divisions within an investment bank. Check out those Skillshare courses. You can get a free two week trial by hitting the link in the video description. And yeah, you can watch all the courses and then cancel your subscription if you want. If you enjoy it, I personally have a Skillshare subscription because I learn a lot from the different courses on there. So definitely do check it out. Peace. Whew.